Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the Redstone Engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren the Architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to or because I think it would be easy but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. It's not weird at all. Reuben is the best pet I could ask for. Obedient, loyal, and always happy to see me at the end of a long day. Friend. I should have said friend, not pet. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Do you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> You guys totally freaked out. That was awful. Uh... Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shears. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. 
And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. I got this stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a Dragon War, Ruben. That'll do, Ruben. That'll do. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. and steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition. But you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa! What's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Man, we have to really try to win this year. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. Anything can happen, Olivia. Then why have we lost nine of these in a row? You can't. No, you can't look at this as a whole. The odds are refreshed each time. Maybe no one else will show up? Now you're being realistic. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments, both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. <laughs> Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope, preparing is daring. Nope, that's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three, team! Prepare.
know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. <laughs> oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the order of the pig. <laughs> really? Is it meant to tie us to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, order of the pig. You guys are in booth five. Uh, ah, ah. It's like everyone in town is here. I don't like the look of this. Man, it's crowded. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic zombie is way cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. But we've got something they don't. Fireworks! We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha! Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the build going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Awesome. 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 Awesome.
Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. <clears throat> we'll just make one up. We'll call it the, uh... The Warrior Whip. <sighs> and just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan, and everything will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now! Oh no! A fireworks dispenser! I'm so scared! You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. And now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no! Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no! Come back! It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon. <clears throat> Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm. Pig tracks. He must have run by here. Doesn't look like this fire will spread. I bet Reuben started this. Reuben? Are you in there? Stupid pigs. Reuben? No, not you guys. Pigs. All pigs but Reuben. Shut up. Oh, 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 oh. 
It's getting scary out here. Ruben! Ruben! Oh no. You in there, buddy? Oh jeez. Please don't be toasted, Ruben. Get out of here, Reuben. Hope you're ready for some more walking. We've got to hurry back to town if we don't want to run into... We're going to have to make a run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town. I promise. Get out of here! Now! Let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon, 
he's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. The guy you got the skull for. What's his deal? He's kind of strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. And you never thought to ask him, hey, what's with your whole totally normal, not at all weird skull thing? As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just said- You could come with me. I know, I was there. It was amazing. Kind of starting to have second thoughts here. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Here we go. Jack. Just place the pieces on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah? <laughs> it's like this is your first time crafting or something. Put the stick at the bottom. And then the two stones above it. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won! I knew the zombie would put us over the top. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Hey, I'll be a gracious winner, but that's it. He'll get one handshake and one good build, good build. Nothing more, nothing less. Just think about it. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers. <sighs> Crap. Huh. This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump.
you know, you dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Just let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's gotta be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Should I be nervous about this? Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him, huh? He'll turn up sooner or later. I just know it. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jesse. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends and their time of need paid off yet again. You guys built one hell of a zombie. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could have fit more fireworks in there, somewhere. We deserve a victory party. Who's in? I like all kinds of parties, but especially ones where I get to celebrate winning. About time I'll be the guest of honor at something. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that... thing. Oh, right. The... thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Something about this feels off to me. All of my secret deals feel off. That's why I usually keep them a secret. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. <clears throat> ah! And just who are you? I'm waiting. You know, you really shouldn't creep up on people like that. It's creepy. Don't test me. I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now! Well? I'm with Petra. My deal is with her, not her partner. She'll be here. But we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it and she'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us. You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. I'm cool if he's cool. It's settled then. You're both cool. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't 
isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. Screw this. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Or you'll make him pay. Right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. We won't find him just standing around. Lines are always super long for this booth. Bunch of cool masks. I don't have time to play dress up though. There he is! Gabriel! Gabriel! Step aside! I have please. just one question! Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out! Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. Sup. Sup. Nothing. Sup with you. Nothing. Sup with you. I just said, nothing. Hey, uh, congrats on the win. I mean, I still think our beacon was amazing, but... You guys did a pretty good job, too. I mean, I thought the whole monster theme was plenty cool, but fireworks, too? You know, that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. He's still missing, you know. Sorry. I hope you find him soon. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Whoa. Everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans. Cool Rama. Ha. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. Nothing starts the party off right like a great DJ. You could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated, mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. We really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. Have you seen Ruben? I was hoping he might have made it to town while I was distracted. I haven't seen hide nor hair. But I'm sure he's fine, he's a tough little ham. Axel. All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get home. Ha! Huh. I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag. How's your stupid pig? I hear intense heat causes brain damage. Aiden, you idiot! Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You. Now move. 
Hey. Hey, where do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Ruben? Is that you? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the bow. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! Oh, really? Well, I found him out in the woods, so I think that makes him my pig. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen, but he should cook up real nice anyway. Give him to me, now. You wouldn't be threatening me, would you? What if I am? I'm not interested in arguing with you. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. He's yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I never should have let you run off in the woods. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy. He cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait! There he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So... yeah. Hey, what would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> get out of our way. We need to get inside. And I need you to show your tickets, or else I gotta stop you right here. Chicken! 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 It's gone. You're totally fine. You're a totally cool dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoo, shoo. Get out of here. The usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. 